Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform Little's uh, MCAR test. Now, MCAR stands for Missing Completely at Random. And it's a test that uh, a person needs to uh, perform uh, before doing anything with their uh, missing values in their data in my opinion and the opinion of other people as well uh... so in this case here we've got a, um, a fictitious example with items uh... one to sixteen for a, some type of inventory inventory and we can see that there's a missing value here for item eight and case twenty and case twenty in fact has another missing value at item three and this is quite typical uh... to see missing uh, some missing values in data sets and sometimes it's a lot worse than this you'll see um, many many more missing values and the, the problem with having missing values is that you can't just ignore them if you want to do analyses properly you have to deal with them and the first step in dealing with missing values is to um, test the hypothesis uh, as to whether they're missing in a random way or missing in a non-random way. Hopefully, they'll be demonstrated to be missing in a random way, because that allows you to do some sophisticated techniques that are relatively easy to implement to deal with it. Uh, I'm going to do another video where I uh, do a, a more lecture-based uh, presentation on missing value analysis and, and dealing with missing values. In this video here, I'm only interested in testing the hypothesis that data are missing uh, completely at random. I'm going to use Little's MCR test. Now, how do we do that? We go into Analyze. We go into Missing Value Analysis. And then we put all the items that we're interested in. And in this case here, it's a 16-item inventory. And we put that into quantitative variables because they're actually all quantitative in nature rather than categorical. Um, so gender would be an example of a categorical variable, but none of my variables are of that nature. Now the next thing you need to do is click on uh, estimate, uh, Expectation Maximization is what this acronym EM means. So you click on that, and that's pretty much all you have to do. You can go in here and look at that if you want uh, to see that there's a couple of uh, options, Students Mixed Normal and Normal, and I just keep it, uh, keep it simple like that. Uh, and if you wanted to actually replace the missing values, uh, with uh, expectation maximization technique, you'd have to use this option here. But I'm going to actually use, I'm going to do that in another video. In this video here, I'm only interested in testing the hypothesis uh, that Little's MCR test tests. So all I have to do is click, put those variables in there in the box and click OK after selecting EM. Now the output is very basic, uh, but there's not actually not a table associated with Little's MCR test specifically. Here's the uh, first table that just gives us the univariate statistics, and we can see that the uh, item 3 was associated with the largest percentage of missing values, which was a count of 11, but 3.4% of the total sample. So not uh, negligible. I think anything less than 2% is probably fairly negligible, but once you start getting above that, I think uh, it's, it's, it's potentially meaningful, particularly if your sample size is not very big to begin with. Now, uh, there's also some other information here, but the main part that we're interested in is um, either the first table, uh, I mean the, the table that says expectation maximization means. In a footnote here, it says Little's MCAR test, chi-square 261.7, degrees of freedom 270, and it's not statistically significant. So because this is not statistically significant, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Um, so this is a good thing. This is saying that uh, the data are in fact probably missing in a random way, at random, completely at random. Had we, had I rejected the null hypothesis here, then I would have had to conclude that, uh, based on the probability, that the values are not missing completely at random. So when you go into research scenarios, usually uh, you do not want to reject the null hypothesis. You do not want to get a statistically significant value here. This is Little's MCR test. You do not want to reject it. And I did not reject it. So that's a good thing. Uh, the data are missing completely at random, which allows me the opportunity to uh, do some imputation techniques to um, input uh, missing values so that I'd have a total, um, have a complete data set rather than uh, having to use some alternative strategies to deal with that. Now, I will note that Carr's, uh, Little's MCAR test is also reported again under covariances and possibly under the correlations table as well. But it's always the same test. It's always the same values.
So this is how you perform Little's MCR test, uh, and this is how you interpret it. Uh, I'm going to do a follow-up video on how to uh, input the missing values. Hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching howtostats.com.